Hey peeps, coming at you today with a Pobo Tech Tip. This is how you decarbonize the pistons on your engine. Pobo Tech. If you have a, an old engine, old motor, usually you don't have a carbon problem, you have a newer engine. But I have a, an almost 25 year old Dodge and I have carbon on the pistons and valves. I've tried fuel treatments, I've tried oil additives. It has helped a little bit, but from what I'm told, the best thing you can do is heat the motor up, get the motor up to operating temperature, and then use a spray bottle of water and spray down into the throttle body. And what that will do is that will actually break off the steam will break off the carbon off the pistons. And when you do it, you should actually see a little bit of smoke come out the back. So I'm letting her warm up right now. And we're gonna see how this works. I have the doghouse, all the carpets, everything out. I'm actually, I just rode the bike. I just did a little video on the bike. And I'm charging the battery. I got the generator running. I got the Jenny back here. She's been cranking all day. So she's charging the batteries and the e-bike. And you can see the solar is doing me no good because the sun's almost going down here. I had the Ranger come in today. I've been here about 10 days. Had the Ranger stop and he goes, you were here last week. And I go, yeah, I came in on Thursday. It's now Saturday. I said, it's 14 days, right? He goes, yep. He goes, after your 14 days, you have to move at least two miles. I was like, two miles, that's it. I thought it was five. And I said, two miles, I might actually be able to find another spot here. But he took my license, he took my ID, he checked my ID. I never had a, a forest. Well, he was from the fire, the fire company, but I guess they're the ones that patrol here. He told me there's a burn ban now, so I can't burn all my, my trash I had over there. I have to pack it out. But he got my license plate, he asked for my ID, he went and ran it, apparently. He was gone for about, you know, he went back into his vehicle for about five minutes. I don't know, he probably ran it to see if I had some kind of outstanding warrant or something, because I guess, you know, in Idaho, a lot of people come up here and hide out in the woods if they have warrants. And that's one, one easy way to get caught, I guess, if you're hiding up here and they ask you for your ID. That's the first time, I have, I've had cops, I've had the sheriff, sheriff deputies last year when I was up here in Idaho. I was on 8th Street Trail. I had them uh, knock on my door 10 o'clock at night and ask me what I was doing with all these cameras on my van. That's, that's a whole other story. This is the first time ever a non-police officer asked for my ID. Now, I probably could have legally said no, but I figured I, I don't have anything to hide. You can look at my ID if he wants. I don't have any warrants or anything. I don't even, I don't even have an outstanding parking ticket. I'm that, that good of a guy, you know? All right, let's see if the engine's at the operating temperature. It doesn't take too long with this V8. Now, I have a blanket inside to keep Odin from crossing over the, the barrier here, because he gets scared. He's really scared of this when the engine's with, without the doghouse on. All right, we're just about up to operating temperature. I'm sorry it's a little bit dark in here. I do have the air conditioner on, bl blasting. It's almost there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the battery in the in the big light, so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Yes, I think it's hot enough. I think it's up to operating temperature. We can get started here. I want to get this all put back together before it's too dark. Okay, so there you go. This is the engine without the doghouse running. It's it's actually pretty quiet, and there's there's no. I mean, you can hear the you can hear the cams rolling, or the lifters lifting. I mean, it just this doesn't have cams. You can hear the lifters, but it's very quiet. There's no taps. There's no squeals or bangs or anything that's out of the ordinary. It's it's running really good. Let me go ahead and turn the air conditioner off. Yep, we're up to operating temperature. Okay, so the next step 
to decarbonizing. I do have the filter out because I cleaned it. That's part of the maintenance I'm doing right now. What they say to do is you just have a plain, plain bottle of water. This is just water. And you spray it right in the throttle body. See if we have any steam or anything coming out. I've oh, got a little drips of water, but that's that's typical once it's warmed up. I do hear it missing just slightly when I do that. I do smell a little bit of something. Yeah, nothing. Typically they say you're gonna get smoke from the carbon, but I don't know. I'm just gonna keep, keep spraying because I want to give this a good treatment. <laughs> Yeah, she sounds good. She's running good. I honestly can't tell you if it's doing any good or not, but I figured I'd do it while I had the air filter off. I just smell typical exhaust. I don't see any kind of steam or anything coming out. I'm gonna have to guess it's doing something. I'm putting a lot of water in there. All right, well, I think you guys get the gist. I wanna finish, and maybe I'll put a couple more ounces in there and I'm gonna wrap this thing up before it gets dark. So, hope you enjoy this Hobo Tech tip. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. <laughs>